Hi, today is uh, February 5th, 2021. I'm going to show you how I'm going to transfer these little baby eggplant sprouts grown with the paper towel method. So basically you um, place some seeds in a damp paper towel, make sure it's not too wet, not too dry and uh, keep it enclosed in a paper baggie, Ziploc baggie and uh, keep it on top of a fridge or a heat mat if you have one and uh, it should germinate in a few days and I find this method much more reliable uh, so I can test the um, germination rate for the seeds and this time uh, these are uh, my homegrown um, seeds so this is what I usually do so I just place a cellophane tape with the seed variety let me see if i can get a good look in the camera yeah there you go so uh this is the homegrown purple ratna round variety of eggplant and uh, these were seeds that i uh extracted from a healthy plant and as you see the root growth is just phenomenal on this and the germination rate is really good uh, because they are super fresh seeds uh, so I haven't had any issues with that and uh, it just germinated in uh, uh, about seven days. Uh, actually, it started its germination in three days and then I just uh, let it grow. Today is already Feb 5th and I had uh, started this process on uh, January 28th. So uh, I have these uh, little 4x4 containers. I'm going to transfer the little seedlings into this container and I have a burpee um, seed starter mix any loose uh, potting mix should do make sure it's uh, super loose uh, peat, uh, I like to do vermiculite uh, perlite and uh, peat moss but I don't have it handy today so I use the seed block from burpees which is an organic um, seed starting mix block so what I do is I just gently pry this from the paper towel and drop it in into the little hole let me do one more so the the roots are pretty resilient so there's no need to fear too much but yes you do have to be gentle and pull it out along the grain of um, the paper towel so that it the roots don't get yanked out in the process so let me see oh I accidentally cut that one and those things happen too let's see where this goes see all these roots and they're starting to get brown and I should have done this maybe a day or to earlier I'm a little bit late but I'm hopeful so what I do is I just separate out the two layers gently there you go that should make it slightly more easier I know it sounds scary to do this but trust me it has worked for me past several years look at this look at this beautiful beautiful root root system nice and healthy and then I just simply pop it in as deep as possible um, make sure a little bit of the green growth is visible on the top do that and you continue to do this for all of the little seedlings done done one more there you go and just a last several that goes in there you go so once the plants are about an inch tall I uh, plant them in larger containers so until then they continue to grow here 
just easier for me to handle under the grow lights as I grow a lot of these plants. There, gently tamp it. And don't worry if you cover some of them very lightly. Uh, they should spring right out of the um, soil medium. And it should continue growing. Actually, uh, it's kind of better if you plant it deep. Just leave a little bit peeking out. That should be sufficient. And absolutely no worries even if you end up burying it a little bit under the soil. So this is what we do. And, uh, and then you just name it. Use one of these plant tags. I'm going to name this home purple round and this was um, up potted on fifth fifth so this is what I do and just drop it in and then add a little bit of water. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to place this in my setup here. I hope you can see this. Just place it. This is a uh, heat mat by Jumpstart and I have a couple more here growing. And these were ones that I had uh, transferred yesterday from the paper towel into the soil mix. I see several of them uh, starting to sprout. And here's a good example of uh, what I had transferred. And uh, see how they have actually bounced out and have these cute little leaves that are showing up. And this variety is uh, from Seeds of India. It's a purple Sapna variety of uh, eggplant seedlings. Eggplant seeds, excuse me. So uh, that's the method that I use. And uh, I would also like to show you the progress of tomatoes that are growing out of the lamp. So what I do is once uh, they have nicely germinated and uh, have the you know, first set of leaves, I move them up. Basically, I graduate them up under the light source and they all look amazing and they look sturdy. And these are actually curry leaf, curry leaf um, baby plants growing. And they're growing pretty well. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I wanted to share today uh, of uh, how easy it is to do the paper towel method and uh, up pot it. Um, it helps with uh, successful uh, germination and uh, also to de de determine the germination rate. And to also make sure uh, that you can uh, save on uh, space and uh, time. That's all for today. See you folks in the next video.